Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Big Brigade. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a good Monday. Uh, it, it's been all right. I'm finally feeling better, feeling a little more to myself. We have had some blessings happen in my house today. Uh, well, S Sunday, Sunday, yesterday, Mother's Day was good. Uh, we really didn't do anything. I just relaxed. Um, didn't really feel like getting out. So we just kind of relaxed and I crocheted all day. Finally, I finally finished something that I started Friday. <laughs> the, these ladies I met at the doctor's office kind of lit a fire under me and I wanted to do something for them. And uh, so I got something done. I have a, a finished object for, you know, for the first time this in, the, in a week or so. But, um, so I got that, I'm gonna show y'all. I got a Hershner's order in, and so I'm definitely gonna show that to you. So there's a little yarn yumminess going on. And God had blessed us. We were gonna, my oldest son was off today and he was gonna replace the air conditioner in my bedroom because it's, we, we know it's gonna be another month or two before we get a chance to move. And the last I tried to use that air conditioner, it, it just wouldn't work. And so um, we were just gonna replace it because I, I can't sleep in here uh, without air conditioning. I'm a very hot natured person and it just, uh, you know, I leave my bedroom door open and with the fan pulling the air conditioning from the kitchen, but it just, it wasn't enough. And so he comes in here, we clear the way, clear all the boxes and stuff from in front of the air conditioner. This, this smart joker goes in and hits the reset button on the plug. And then wouldn't you know that thing turns on? <laughs> out of the move budget on a new air conditioner but it's just so great that we don't have to oh oh my goodness I can't tell you how wonderful that is and I'm in here now and it's really comfortable and it's like 90 degrees outside so already yes already and we ain't even hit the heat of the heat the heat of the summer is usually like late July early August hopefully we'll be moved before then and we're gonna buy an air conditioner for the new place. That we were already gonna buy an air conditioner, but we were hoping not to have to put it in this window because this is all broken and, and the wall is kind of messed up and we really didn't wanna have to fool with it. So he just went and got some more of that spray foam stuff and sealed up around this one where it had cracks and, and you know, le spaces that needed to be filled so that bugs couldn't get in and get me. So he went and got some of that spray foam stuff and sealed it up better so I don't have to worry about wasp and stuff and getting in here at me because we do live still live in the country right now. So, um, <laughs> and then I got a fan. So I put the, put, put the fan on a box and have it blow at the bed so it'll be even better. So um, I'm just so happy about that. <laughs> so yes, that saved us money. <laughs> And time and time and time he saved us money and time and he didn't have to fool with this window anymore because he had something he wanted to go do on his day off other than fool with my window even though he didn't mind doing it because you know I'm his mom but he didn't have to so that's wonderful that made me very happy anyway uh, so Melinda Melanie 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 and Catherine that I ran into at Dr. Gibson's office. I made the first out of two peak uh, oriented shawls that I'm, I, ha I have Catherine's number. So I'm gonna send her a message with a picture of this. I gotta figure out how to take a better picture of it than, uh, oh, where is it? I don't know if it, I gotta get, I, I got a loose thread here, but uh, I had that tucked in, I guess it came out. But uh, I don't know if I can get it back far enough for y'all to see this. But this is uh, pink and white. This this yarn here 
is the pink multi by um mainstays the main the mainstays walmart yarn and when i tell you this is easy to work with this is really easy to work with yarn it the only thing i could compare it to is hobby lobby yarn it was really really soft and smooth yarn it is really works up really well and the white is just a, a big twist white uh i thought i had <laughs> i thought i had grabbed at when i was at hobby lobby and did my big shopping at hobby lobby i thought that i had grabbed white or well johnny i sent johnny back to the shelf to grab white but he grabbed magnolia which is not white it's off white which is fine for blanket making it will eventually i will use that yarn but it's not white <laughs> and it says the the uh, variegated yarn that i was using for this shawl had white in it i wanted to use pure white as as a corresponding color so i just you know so but i knew i had some big twist white i was just trying to match the texture of the variegated yarn with the texture of the you know the corresponding color that i wanted to you know break it up a little bit but the white, it does it did okay it's fine it's fine it's not the same it's not exactly the same texture but it worked together it works together fine it'll probably uh be better after i wash it but and then i i kind of thought about doing some fringe at the bottom but then when i after i did this little uh border uh, not, after i did the edges here they rippled i didn't do i did i didn't do that intentionally i'm still learning here i'm only about three or four months into my crochet journey um after trying for a year finally got it like in february i think february i think february is when i really started you know taking off with crochet but i didn't intentionally do this ripple thing that it's doing but it's doing this lovely little ripple thing it may stop it after i wash it but i hope not but it's doing this lovely little ripple on the ends that really just make it work but i think it's big enough uh, let me see here but I think that's big enough. These these ladies are quite a bit smaller than me, so this should be this should be plenty big enough for them. It goes down the back a bit, and you can see that. But this is this is I um, you know plenty big enough for them. I went through a whole uh, about a skein and a half of, of the um, of the variegated about a skein and a half, and then. Uh, over half of over half of the white a little over half of the white so that'll get used for something else maybe a hat later maybe i'll go in and and double it up and make her a hat to go with it or something i don't know i've been trying to to leave my looms alone for now but i prefer if i'm going to make hats i prefer to make them on the loom i don't i tried to do that bucket hat that crystal bag or day put out not too long ago and that was a catastrophe so i don't know that i'm going to be crocheting any hats but i can loom knit one like nobody's business so i think i'll stick with that now i don't know if y'all can appreciate i i put my clear clear yarn boxes back here in the in the closet where y'all can at least I got a little yarn background. <laughs> but I want to make sure they were all straight. Anyway, so it's on to the Hershner order. I ordered, that they had sweet rolls, um, Premier sweet rolls on cheaper than Premier. So I got some more of this that I had on the other, the, the, the um, shawl that I did for the girl from the laundromat. If you're new, it was a it was a girl that helped me at the laundromat, and I was already making a shawl out of this uh, yarn, and I ended up gifting it to her because she helped me out of a jam. But this is called Bubble Pop, and it is the only way I can explain to you is is it's butter. It just is so buttery, smooth, and and wonderful. And in this particular, I don't I don't know if all um, sweet sweet roll yarn is like that but this is definitely i had it in like a gray black not i wouldn't say like a shades of gray 
color last year and it wasn't like this it, it didn't it didn't uh, it didn't work up like this did did but this is oh it's wonderful it just works up so wonderful and it's so easy on the hands and so I got three more of these I don't remember what I think they were either three or four dollars a piece something like that they weren't very much and I also got it in this lovely purple and gray and white and this is called pansy pop and I got three of these also so y'all know what I'm gonna do with it because <laughs> everywhere I go that I'm doing crochet if I take my crochet with me see there's three of these um they're like oh are you selling those shawls apparently that's what I need to do <laughs> I need to sell them and I know y'all know me y'all that have been on my channel for a long time y'all know Amanda don't do black. <laughs> Amanda don't like dark yarn. I like bright and cheerful yarn. Well, not everybody's like that. And I figured if I'm going to start selling my shawls, that I, that I have to cater to people that like darker colors. And so, and Hershner's had these cakes. And you know how I feel about cakes. Especially the ones that don't stick to your thighs. <laughs> Them's the cakes you gotta stick with. The ones that don't stick to your thighs. Whew. <laughs> Them's the kind, the ones that stick to your thighs, the, guys, the ones I gotta stay away from. <laughs> the doctor said, no sweets for me. Anyway, so I ran across these. These were $8 and some change um, a piece. And so I got two of these. I, I forget what the color was, because it just has a color number, color 14. It's made by Plymouth Yarn. And the, uh, the yarn's uh, made in Turkey. Oh, Lord, I didn't give y'all any stats on the... I'm just assuming y'all know what sweet rolls are. Sweet, the sweet roll has uh, 245 yards, 224 meters. They're 5-ounce cakes, 140 grams. And they're four-weight yarn. And when I tell you they're soft and, and lovely, they're soft and lovely. I don't have a squish factor like Cindy. But, <laughs> but they're buttery. And wonderful and I like I like the I like them and uh, but this is uh this is new to me I hadn't yet had, but this reminded me of some of the the hobby yarn I mean it's 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 caked up the same it, it even when I looked at the picture it reminded me the of the hobby yarn they called horizon but then when I got it I was like that don't look like that it don't look like that at all but it's beautiful nonetheless even even though it's in grays and there's a little bit of cream here it's like a creamy color but it's 75 percent acrylic 25 percent wool 200 grams 404 yards so it is plymouth yarn company and it does say they're made in turkey but it's distributed from uh, plymouth yarn company which is in bristol pa pennsylvania so but um and it's a number four weight. It's really wonderful. I mean, it's it's very it, it, to have a wool in it. You know, you could feel that it has wool. It does. It's it smells nice. I'm not gonna put my nose all up in it, but it smells nice. It, it has a nice, um, you know. I got two of them. Let me find the other one. There it is. There's number two. Cause I don't know if I'll just make a small shawl out of one. I do two shawls. And then you know but it's it's striped so i don't have to uh mix up colors like i did with the other little shawl that i just finished but then i couldn't help myself <laughs> i got this color same stats but this is just ever so lovely i'm gonna get a little closer and a little closer so y'all can enjoy that but that's just lovely but these were only like just under nine dollars a piece which i thought was really good for the yardage you get and of course it has wool in it so wool is not cheap and so these were on uh, markdown and i did see that they had other colors uh on a different website of the same yarn but they were like closer to 15 dollars a piece so i didn't get those <laughs> i stuck with these <laughs> i don't you know I only can buy so much yarn a month now because I'm on a you know more more stricter budget. 
But this, this is my, my oh, yeah, there's my other one. I had to find room in one of my boxes for these. But I got two of these too. So uh, let me hold these like this. Maybe I can get my thumbprint like that. <laughs> and of course, when me and John were going through some stuff recently, we found this shirt. I didn't know if I could still wear that. But there it is. And you can see some of my tattoos here. These are the matching tattoos here on the tops of my arms. Those are the last ones I got, actually, in 2012. And so, I'm going to contact the ladies that uh, I met in the doctor's office. And I'm going to have them tell me. Because I got this yarn that I won in a giveaway last year. I got this... Uh, a sweet roll. This is the do -do -do, pink swirl that I won, won last year. And so I'm going to ask her which one does she want. I'm not, I'm not giving her the wool one. But I'm going to ask her which one does she want her, you know, the other the other shawl made of. This one or this one. I'm going to send her a picture of both and see which one she likes. And um, that's which that's the next shawl. I'm working on my. T I'm still working on the turquoise one that I'm doing with the uh, red heart and um, and big twist yarn. I'm still working on that one. That one I'm kind of designing as I go because I kind of wanted to make it my own and just kind of play with different stitches and such. So um, that one's going to take me a little longer. And this this. Uh, um, what did I do with it? I made a little progress with this, but not much. I, 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 I think I want another row or two on this one. For the newbies, um, this is, I'm doing this one with the Momenta yarn. And this is a cotton blend yarn. Um, I'll go ahead and pull this out and show for my new subscribers. This is the Momente. Um, this is this is a cotton blend yarn. It's 58% uh, cotton, 42% acrylic, four weight. It really looks like a three weight when you're working with it. It's really thin. And, um, but it's super soft. This colorway is Desert Vista. I have some more of it. Um, I'm probably gonna, part of this may be in that giveaway because I'm not I'm not I'm not in love with this yarn as I thought I might be. But I got I gave some I sent some to Connie I, I, so that she could use some in a shawl that she's knitting because I want I really desperately want to see some knitted up and she is a whiz at knitting and so I can't wait to see what she does with it. But um, I got I think four more I had eight cakes, so that's two two yeah, I got four four more, I believe. And um, so I probably end up parting with two more. And either the semi either my semi finalist will get two or the grand prize may be two. I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet. But I'll definitely be parting with a couple. Um, just because I'm not in love with that yarn and I know that other people will be because it's cotton and it's and it's soft and it's luxurious and it's beautiful and I love to share. <laughs> I, I I mean look look at those boxes. You think I'm gonna be able to crochet all of that? No. No, it would be partially in giveaways. Will any of this stuff that I bought that I bought from Hershner's go in giveaways? Nope. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that could change tomorrow. I am bipolar. <laughs> you know we change our minds like we change our underwear <laughs> no I never know I never know what I'm gonna change my mind and do but I do love the sweet rolls I do love the sweet rolls so I probably won't be parting with any of them well that's not necessarily true I did just send some of them up north <laughs> in, a, in a in a in a happy mail <laughs> just two though I didn't I like to have three to do a to do another shawl and I, I ran I only had two um to do that other shawl that's why I went ahead and ordered three more 
of that same color because when I was doing that other shawl, I was like, man, if I just had one more, I can make this a little bit bigger. So that's why I went ahead and ordered three because I knew I wanted to redo that shawl in those colors and I knew it was going to take three. So anyhow, I hope y'all enjoyed this video if you're still with me at 20 minutes. Um, man, it feels good to be in my room and this air conditioning feels so good in here and to have my door shut. The bay brigade is on the other side. I bet you I could open it right now and at least my, my black lab is on the other side of that door. <laughs> they usually, if I'm in here doing this, they'll be right there in the hallway waiting for me to go back into the other room because that's just how they roll. <laughs> they don't stay too far from mama. <laughs> and the bag, in, in case you're new, the bag brigade consists of my Pitbull Mix Theodore who is the uh, beautiful brown dog that you see in the thumbnail on the uh, Pups and Crochet uh, collab video that I did yesterday. And uh, the black lab is Axel. And Axel is my senior. He's about 9 or 10 years old. We're not exactly sure because he's a rescue. And Theo is about 6 years old. And he's also a rescue. We got him from the shelter. We got Axel from a, a, a ex-friend of my oldest son who was keeping him in a kennel all the time and he was real skinny and and uh, low weight and had an ear infection when we got him and quickly we got put some weight on him and took him to the vet and got his ear tended to and of course that very summer we discovered that he has an allergy to flea larp, uh, saliva flea spit and so every year we have to take him and get him a shot and we get the flea med flea medications but hopefully now that I get my disability regular income, I can afford to go back every three months and get them those Brevecto chews that last three months, every three months, and um, where we don't have to deal with the flea spit next year because he loses, he gets these big sores on him and then he loses patches of his hair and his hair is so pretty. He's such a beautiful dog. And so I'm just, I, it, it hurts my heart because right now he has a patch on his head and, and the hair's starting to grow back, but it's just oh so slow. And it's, I just hate to see my beautiful baby with a patch of hair off, off his head. And it just, it hurts my heart. Because <laughs> he's such a beautiful dog and he's got these this patch off, out of hair, it, it, you know, on this healing spot. All the spots have healed. It's just the clumps of hair haven't quite grown back. So, it's rough. Anyway, uh, so... I will leave it here and uh, please if you're going to go get a new companion go to the shelters go to the rescues and adopt your companion they don't just have dogs sometimes they have exotics like birds and lizards and that sort of thing and some of your big major cities they have those type things if you're wanting a particular breed of dog just google search you know pitbull rescue or frenchy rescue or whatever uh they, they have those too so, um, whatever you could possibly desire, they probably have a rescue for it. Just do a search for it and try to adopt one instead of buying. Because when you buy one from a pet store, you never know where they're coming from. And if they've been breeded with their brother and sister or, you know, kept in a cage and have all kinds of, you know, diseases and sort of thing. And if you're getting a healthy animal or not, at least when you get them from a rescue, they've got, most times they've already been spayed or neutered. They've already been screened for any diseases and health, you know, deemed healthy enough to be adoptable. And uh, you get a good healthy animal that's been pre-screened and most times already, you know, had their vaccinations and everything. When you pay that uh, adoption fee, you've got, you're, you know, you're essentially not going to have to take them to the vet right away because they've already taken care of all that for you. So it's, you know, it's, it's a good investment that you, you know, you're helping the rescue, you know, with their cost. And you're getting, a, you know, a loving pet that's going to love you forever because you saved them. So, uh, just, you know, just do that. <laughs> and if you can't have a pet, but you have a little extra 20 or $30, donate to the rescue anyway. Or if you, you know, can't have a pet because of where you live, stop by and go visit them. Sometimes they just want an extra little love. Take you some dog biscuits in there and feed the dogs. Some cat treats and feed the cats. Whatever you can do, you know, we as humans, we, we forget that they need love too. And you'd be surprised 
how many people who have rescues have the question who rescued who because animals just have that effect on people but anyway i love you and god loves you and i hope you have a wonderful day see you next time